Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to share five places that I think are worth visiting in Marrakesh. I'm here on a holiday with my friends and wanted to share this with you in case you find this helpful. So the first place, Bahia Palace is very close to the Medina Center and easy to get to by walking or taxi. There is a fee to enter the palace. We paid 70 dirham per person, which is roughly 5 pounds or 7 euros. Rich in history and breathtakingly beautiful, we fell in love with this place at first sight. As we walked through the palace, we were mesmerized by the colored tiles with different patterns and amazing details on the walls and ceilings. You can even see the beautiful details on the doors and windows. There is also a very beautiful garden to explore as you walk through the palace. This place is perfect for those who are looking for places rich in history or amazing architecture or just want an Instagrammable Moroccan backdrop to their photos. And this is why I recommend Bahia Palace as the top first place to visit when in Marrakesh. Second on the list is Jardin Montreal. There are many popular gardens that are worth visiting in Marrakech. Jardin Montreal is my personal favourite. It's also known as YSL Garden. This is because it is combined with the Musée Père Berge and Musée Yves Saint Laurent. An architectural marvel and a perfect place for those who want to enjoy a bit of history and a peaceful natural landscape. There are many exotic plant species and beautiful lakes against vibrant blue jewel makes this place a must visit on our list. Unfortunately during our visit, the YSL Museum was closed for maintenance. However, we were lucky enough to get access to the Jardin Mojurel and Musique Pierre Berge. In total, we paid 150 dira per person, which is roughly 12 pounds or 15 euros. If you're a student, don't forget to bring your student ID as this will allow you to get 50% discount on your tickets. Third on the list is Shama Al Fena Square. This place is perfect for those who are looking to shop. Locally known as Big Square. This is the center of Medina and where all the hustle and bustle is. You will find pretty much anything and everything here. There are many stalls here that sell crafted products from incense to clothes to jewelry to high quality bronze homeware. You can also find stalls for fresh juice and there are many top-rated restaurants in this area. Many offering local Moroccan cuisine. Just a little heads up for those who are looking to shop here. You will rarely find fixed prices in most shops. Our top tip is to never express how much you like a product and always start your negotiation with the price lower than what you are willing to pay. Hamam at Maraja is my fourth must-do in Marrakesh. I couldn't imagine coming to Marrakesh and not experiencing the local hammam experience. Although there are many places in Marrakesh that offer hammam, I chose Maraja because of their great reviews, perfect location and variety of packages. I chose their royal package which was two hour long. 
So we just came out of the first part of Hamam, which is the body scrub. Um, oh my god, what an experience. Literally so such thick dirt balls come off my body. Um, so amazing. Feel, feel like a new person now. <laughs> um, now we're doing the second part, which is which will be the massage. Um, so we'll speak to you later. I was at Maraja felt like heaven. From scrub to massage, everything was perfect. I felt like a brand new person. This is why I highly recommend you try this place. It's definitely a must. <laughs> Last but not the least, where Syria Water Park is our fifth top recommended place to go. As we visited Marrakesh during summer, temperatures were ranging between 28 to 35 degrees. This place was perfect for us to cool off the summer heat while still enjoying the outdoors. Where Syria is the largest water park in Africa, including plenty of water slides, lazy rivers and wave pool. Perfect for those visiting Marrakesh during summer season. It is surrounded by lush greenery and many splash pools. There are many restaurants and cafes in the park. Those were the five places and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe. Um, if you've already been to Marrakesh and you have better places you can suggest, leave them in the comments below. Um, and if you are going to travel anytime soon, I hope you have a good holiday and see you on the next one. Bye.